So I've uh, got a snag here in the steering system. Uh, I've been writing a little bit of code for it, and I think the code is going reasonably well. I can get it to send certain things to the serial monitor, uh, basically a screen that shows outputs and input values. Uh, I'm going to make a video about that soon, but i got to get some software loaded on my uh, laptop first. But I'm going to make a video about what the code is doing, and I'll take you to the logic of how that code works. But that the code in the Arduino is supposed to output to this, which is a speed controller. And it's supposed to take a, well, I think I was probably going to use the analog or the, an analog signal from the uh, Arduino to this thing. But I got looking at it, hooking it up, and I'm trying to wire it up here. But if you look right down in here, you can see that this solder pad is, is damaged. This thing has been in several vehicles. It's, it's run several different motors, and I keep, you know, soldering and unsoldering these connections. Well, the problem now is, um, I, I, you know, I've done that so many times. I probably overheated this one and damaged the surface. And I think this pad and this pad are shorted to each other. When after I solder them, when I ring them out, I, I get, um, you know, I get the, the continuity signal between these two. Now, maybe some sort of, you know, electronically they're connected together, but I don't want to take a chance. This thing has been around. I've had this around for five or six years. It's probably been in three or four projects. I think I'm just going to order a new one. Uh, I'm looking into sourcing that now. I, I never really was happy with this particular one, um, maybe a saber tooth. Uh, I'm looking for kind of something similar to it, but they don't seem to be a whole lot of them. Having a hard time finding a good source of this stuff. A lot of that stuff seems to be sold out, the ones I'm looking for, so I guess everybody's doing projects. But anyway, so this needs to be replaced. So the steering is on hold for a little bit. But what I'm going to start working on now is the are the brakes. So originally this machine had two sets of brakes. There was a pedal that operated a master cylinder for a rear disc, and the handle operated cables for the front. So if you look down here, these, uh, these cables here, when you pull on the cable, and it used to, used to be the operator would pull their, the handbrake, and it pulls on this cable, and it applies the, uh, the cams inside, and the brakes come on. And there's one for each side. So these two cables, I've replaced them both. I want them to be as, uh, what happens to the cables is they, they get uh, corrosion inside, and they get very stiff, and they get hard, hard to pull. So I wanted to, um, you know, I got new cables just because it looks nicer, and now it won't take as much energy to put the brakes on. So that's what we have here is these two ends of, of the cables. And you can see what it's got a small lead ball on the end or, or whatever. And then if you pull on these, when it was a, a handbrake, these two came up to the handbrake and there was an equalizer bar that, that was went across them. And then when, when you pull on the middle of the equalizer bar, it would pull both brakes the same. So, and then you have to adjust each cable so that that equalizer bar wasn't doing too much work. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing, but obviously there's nobody around to um put their you know to pull it by hand so i'm going to try using this this is a servo from the uh, remote control airplane hobby this one is supposed to be heavy duty it's supposed to be 35 kilograms 35 kilograms at one centimeter which in this case would be you know probably where that first hole is but that's not that's no good i need to have more movement than that so i'm probably going to use one of these holes out here looks to be two centimeters out so that's 17 kilograms of of force I don't know, that's what, 40 pounds. I'm not sure what a person can pull, like what that brake lever pulled, you know, but I would imagine that this could probably pull as much weight as, as a human hand. The, the, the vehicle's going to be lighter than with a person on it. I think it's going to, um, I don't think it's going to hold, take a whole lot to stop it. So I'm going to install this thing. So I have to make a, some sort of bracket that holds the two cables these or holds the two sheathings and then the cables come out from that and this mounts somewhere here and pulls on an equalizer bar to pull them both um so I, I, what i'd like to do is also somehow have this whole thing adjustable or not sure but i would love to have some sort of park brake system out of this too some way you could maybe when you shut it off this automatically defaults to going full on but i don't want the weight sitting on this all the time so I don't know whether, maybe I, I just make some sort of mechanical lever that uh, when you when you move a lever, it, it moves the sheathing out and something, I don't know. But I would like to somehow put a park brake on it that somebody has to remove or release before they can operate it, just so they're aware that they are going to be operating it. 
I would love that to be automatic. I would love the Arduino to decide, okay, I haven't moved in 10 seconds. Let's put the park brake on. And the whole thing pulls, I don't know, something. So this will, this we can uh, operate directly with the remote control receiver. This already has the features that we're looking for in the steering. In the steering, we want this to auto center when you let go of the lever. These, this is a servo now. This is not just an electric motor. This is what we're trying to build. This thing does that. This thing follows the position of the lever exactly. So if you have the lever a quarter of the way over, this goes a quarter of the way. If you move it left, it moves one way. You move it right, it goes the other. So this is exactly what we want to do. And in the center is, is neutral. And the radio is spring-loaded to the center. So when you let go of the lever, this is going to release the brakes. And when you push the lever up, probably, for the front brakes, this is going to pull back and apply the brakes. I would also like it to somehow, I don't know, if it went the other way, that it would push the back brakes on, but maybe that needs to be a separate servo with a different channel. I thought maybe on the remote control radio, if you go up and down, it would be the front brakes. If you go side to side, it would do the rear brakes. Maybe I have another one of these pushing on the master cylinder for the rear brake. So if you go, you know, if you go up, it's, it, it, it's front brakes on. If you go, if you go up, it's front brakes on. If you go left, it's rear brakes on. If you go to the far corner, it's both brakes on. So this quadrant, this quadrant up here will be the brakes. More forward brake, more rear brake, and then both brakes. And this is, this we really use, there's no code or anything. This is directly uh, a result of the signal from the radio to the receiver to this thing. So if this works for the, for the front brakes, I'll probably get another one and have it apply the rear brakes and then build a box that, you know, kind of a brake control module that the cables come off of at the front and a hose comes off of it to the back. So that's the plan. Uh, i got to order parts for the steering and I have to start making up brackets to hold these cables in place.